Andrew in Sherwood, UK. All right, Sherwood, UK. Are we saying Sherwood Forest? Robin Hood and all those guys? I love it. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Is there a future for Toslink? Optical Digital seems an ideal system for moving digitized audio around a system, bypassing issues of RF interference, isolation, network congestion, and di jitter. <laughs> Yet it seems to have a ground, has grounded to a halt in terms of development back in the 80s. So does Paul lament the stagnation of the technology as an audio interconnect? Or do you think other electronic standards like USB, HDMI, Ethernet have passed it by? Well, I'm a big fan of fiber. Let's face it, our internet connected world is being slowly but surely connected through optical means. Just here in Boulder, where our streets are continually being torn up and what are they doing? They're replacing all the copper as he describes here, with fiber optics. Fiber optics, for all the reasons that he brought up, the immunity to noise, the, the speed at which it can run, the, uh, oh, just on and on, the isolation. Uh, it, it just, fiber is the way to go. Optical is definitely the wave of the future. It's how all of us, we're gonna be connected either by fiber or our, our old buddy Elon's, uh, you know, uh, s s whatever, not SpaceX, but, what, oh, Starlink, that's the thing that comes down from the sky. One way or the other, it's not gonna be via copper. Do I lament it? Yeah, I, years ago, a company called Wadia had AT&T glass fiber as the interconnect between their CD transport and their DAC, and it was fabulous. It was expensive, but it was fabulous. And along the way, Toshiba introduced what we call Toslink, the, the Toshiba link. And what they did is they said, this is a better way of doing business, but since we're a consumer company, we don't really care so much about super high-end audio which they don't and they shouldn't. I mean, that's not their forte, right? So we'll, we'll make something that is low cost and accessible to everybody and we'll give it a bandwidth restriction of uh, 96 kilohertz. That should keep everybody happy. And I mean, digital audio is 44.1 when you use CDs. So 96 kilohertz, you know, double that should have been fine, and for that it was. But today, when we have DSD running at 22 megahertz, we're not even saying the word kilohertz, we're saying megahertz. Fiber is absolutely capable of it, but there are no standards. So yes, I lament it. In a perfect world, we would all use fiber optics. I wish we were doing that it would be silly for us to introduce that to the world because there is no standard, nobody else has it, you couldn't use that with anything else other than PS Audio equipment. So it's sort of a, a non-starter. But do I lament it? Yes, it would have been the best way to go. All right, thanks.